Hi, I'm Enlai and welcome back to It's a Date. In the last episode, I managed to find matches for all three girls, so everyone went home happy. Today, I'm here at the beautiful Orchard Scots residences with brand new contestants for the final cycle. Let's meet them. Hi girls, welcome to the show. Before I bring in the guys, I want to hear from you first. So let's start with Agri. I'm still single because most guys think I'm high maintenance. I haven't had a Singaporean ex-boyfriend. Why? None of them dare to approach me. Why do you think so? People tend to think that I'm very arrogant. Ooh, okay. Joey, what about you? For me, it's I think because of my mom. She said that I couldn't have a boyfriend before I was 21. So now I'm 22. I think I'm ready to have a boyfriend. So you've never had a boyfriend? Uh, because of my mom, I can't really go out a lot. And it's, it's very difficult for me to meet guys and all that. It's okay. We won't tell her. Oh. <laughs> Claudia, what about you? I'm still single because I'd rather not settle down for just anybody. Um, I guess you can say I'm a bit picky when it comes to finding a boyfriend. Why has it been so difficult? Well, I've never really been approached. I mean, even if I do, they're just people I'm not so interested in. Well, we'll see how these guys uh, work out. I'll bring them in shortly, but I've arranged for them to get a makeover before they meet you. And there's a twist that they don't know about. You'll be observing them getting this makeover through a monitor in another room. <laughs> that way, you'll get to know what they're really like when you're not around. Spy cam! Okay, well, let's go into the room before they arrive. Okay. Okay, girls, this is the live feed of everything that will be going on during the guys' makeover. You'll have to stay absolutely quiet so they won't hear in here. Hello guys, welcome to the show. Shukri, Jonathan and Alfred, you're gonna get a makeover from Top Man before you meet the girls. So here we have Kane, a fashion advisor from Top Man. And here we have Michelle, owner of dating agency Complete Me. She also conducts makeover and grooming courses for singles. So she's here to help out. Pretend that I'm the dates you're meeting for the first time. So how would you have introduced yourself? Okay, uh, hi, I'm Alfred. i um, currently 24 this year. I'm still a student. So uh, actually I'm here to know more about you. You sound like a Miss Universe contestant. So what about you, Jonathan? My name is Jonathan. I'm um, 30 years old and I'm working as a marketing executive. And hobbies will be going to the beach, tanning, um, going to the gym. You want to see bikini girls, right? Going yeah, to the beach. Nah, Chikope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you, handsome? Hi, my name is Shukri and I'm actually a student but I'm also a masseuse and I'm teaching English and math to young kids so I'm good with kids so if you're looking for someone to settle down with, I'm your man. Okay, first thing, one very important thing, when you meet a girl for the first time, what do you do? Coffee. Beyond that. Hi, I'm Alfred. Why? That is short of everyone. That's the most polite way to say hi, isn't it? Thank you very much, Michelle, for giving us the lowdown on first impressions. Okay, Kane, this is Alfred. Um, what are you going to do to him? I'd like to change you over. I have to add in more colours. Okay, but um, Alfred, you know, you don't seem very impressed, especially when the shirt came out. Uh, well, it's too bright for me. I don't usually go for these kind of bright colours. Uh, I go for really safe colours. Black, white, blue. Okay, I don't like safe, guys. Yeah. I also don't like. It's too boring. But your mom will like. I think Alfred is a very shy person and maybe more of an introvert. But somehow I feel like parents will like this kind of guy because he looks very decent and your parents like this kind of goody two-shoes face. Yeah, hey, your mom will really love this guy too. Then that my mom date him. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> so, well, how do you feel? Bright. Well, bright colours, uh, it's good if you're going running at night. I don't know, I don't think I can get chicks with this. Bright colours are usually more like related to feminine side of the male population. Men who are like probably going after girls or are interested in ladies, they tend to go safer colours. I just felt sorry for him. <laughs> just let him wear his boring clothes. <laughs> and now we have Shukri. So Shukri, did you just step out of a dryer? Your shirt does seem a little bit small, like it's shrunk or something like that. <laughs> Actually, I think I grew one size bigger, so that's why it seems a bit tight. Usually it's not this tight. Excuse me. Uh, what colours do you normally wear? I usually go for safe colours. <laughs> Another safe guy. <laughs> On the occasion, I'll go for bright colours because I have sort of like a split personality. Oh, that's yeah. scary. <laughs> 
That's not something a normal guy would say. So he's a bipolar? <laughs> he's bipolar. Actually, these kind of guys, they can be very scary. I don't think I'm scared to deal with it. Because <laughs> I'm quite drama myself when I want to be. Hey, <laughs> you forgot to wear trousers. Someone painted trousers on you instead. Yeah, it feels like that. <laughs> it's my first time wearing skinny jeans. It's really, really tight. You know, I can't do what I want, you know? I want to like uh, express myself a bit more, you know? By doing squats. <laughs> no, no. Okay, I have, I'm big everywhere, okay? So if it weren't so tight, I would wear them. Wow. Wow, 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 so smart. Just one word describes it. Wonderful. So I guess appearance to you is very important? Yeah, you could say that. It's one of the things that makes me as a person. Okay, but would you consider yourself a vain person? Oh, you have no idea. I would be that kind of person who would check himself out every five minutes. <gasps> no, no. I thought I was vain, but that is like vain on a new level. If there's no mirror, I'll be like, oh my god, what's happening? What's happening? Do I look good? Yeah, I'm that kind of person. Well, do you care for women who take care of their parents? If I make an effort to look good, my woman should also make an effort to look good. I don't think there's anything wrong with him saying that. If I dress up for you, you're gonna do the same for me. We'll look good together and we can like take pictures. Okay, Jonathan, so um, what do you think? Uh, very hot, very... Uh... I would say that Jonathan is a very cautious man. He tends to like not speak his mind and you're like wondering what he's thinking. What if, you know, you're out on a date and the girl feels cold? That's where the extra pair of arms comes in, you know, where you big body arms, you know, you get the heart. Oh. And that's where the warmth and everything comes in. So you get all the, you know, little intimacy here and then. Oh my god, Tiko Chico Pei. When he said it, I just pictured a very creepy guy, like, hugging you from the back, like, oh, don't touch me. <laughs> okay la, I think I was just being cheeky on the end. Well, you're on a date in a movie with a girl, and I think they probably want you to, you know, to hug them or something. I don't think it would be cardigans anymore. I think it's it's a lot more different nowadays. Shukri, you ready? Yeah. About time. Come on out! Finally! I don't know why, but the guys took a really, really long time to change. Are you ready? They took about eight to nine minutes for one outfit. Like my grandma like changes faster than some of you guys. She's probably like checking himself out in the toilet. Now you gotta choose one of the outfits. Oh, you're looking right at it. <laughs> okay, great, they're gonna change again, yeah! <laughs> I don't wanna be the one waiting for the guy outside the toilet when I'm like all done already. In fact, I'm like always late. And this guy is gonna be even later than me. <laughs> Suddenly I'm waiting for my prince instead of like the prince waiting for the princess. Hey guys, you look great. Are you ready to see the girls? Yeah. Well, actually, the girls have already seen you. They've been watching you this entire time through a live feed in the bedroom. Okay. Oh my god. They've been hiding in town a while. Oh my god. Girls, come on out! Shit. I was recalling did I do anything that I shouldn't have done, said anything that I should have said to cause a bad first impression. If I had known that the girls were there, I would have been more relaxed. Girls like confidence, right? So it shows a bit of confidence when you're not so hard up on yourself. It's so awkward. <laughs> I know! This is A for awkward, man! <laughs> yes, so they've been in there! Oh. They've been in there all this, all this time. Do uh, you have lunch? <laughs> no, we just opened the door to all bread in. <laughs> really got lunch. No, waiting for you guys to buy us lunch. You know what? It's almost time for dinner. Yeah, why not? We just hit it. It's just nearby. Yeah, so just... <laughs> wow! Well, girls, I'm sure you've got a sense of their personalities from spying on them the whole day. And I'm sure you have your favourites. <laughs> but you haven't interacted with them yet. So um, don't worry, that will happen next week. In the meantime, I'm sure you viewers want to know who the girls picked as their favourites for today. Well, let's find out. It's based on today, I would pick Shukri. I think the fact that he's a masseuse, he probably has like very nimble hands. <laughs> Based on today alone, I think my favourite guy will be Jonathan. I think he's very confident. He's not nervous or fidgety like the others. I think I would pick Jonathan. I didn't really pick up that much on his personality. Uh, this is just my gut feeling. Like, out of the three guys, I would just choose Jonathan. 
that's all we have for this episode. But funny, right? Once again, we have two girls liking the same guy. But as history has taught us, first impressions are certainly not the best indicator of how things will turn out. What's going to happen next? Don't know. See you in the next episode. I'll hold her and you brush the bunny. Oh, oh. You make weird sounds. <laughs> I don't know how to mop the floor. Never done housework in my entire life. See, I'm like perfect house husband, right? My mom would definitely like him. I don't like that comment you just said. Oh, Please choose your words wisely. Oh. <laughs> I dry this side, you dry the other side. Okay. Oh, just like we're married, right? Yeah. She has this certain sexiness that draws me to her. Mm.